Hey guys, in this problem we are looking for two things. The first part of the problem asks for the power output of this speaker. So the main thing to remember is that power is equal to the intensity multiplied by the surface area about which the sound spreads. So in order to solve this problem, we need both the area, the area of the spherical spreading of the sound, but we also want the intensity. And in order to find the intensity, we'll first want to use our sound level formula. The formula that states that the sound level of a sound, which in this case is 130 decibels, is equal to 10 multiplied by the logarithm, base 10, of the intensity divided by i naught. So let's solve this for i. So the first thing we'll want to do is divide both sides of the equation by 10. So we end up with just a logarithm on the right, and on the left we just end up with 13. So 13 decibels equals the log of i over i naught. And then we can cancel out the logarithm by raising both sides of the equation uh, to the power, by raising 10 to the power of both sides of the equation. Since that is a log base 10, so raising 10 to the power of it should just give us the contents of that function. So what we end up with is that 10 to the power of 13 is equal to just i over i naught. So solving this for i, that is i equals 10 to the power of 13 multiplied by i naught. And i naught is a constant, so we'll just put that into a calculator. 10 to the power of 13 multiplied by the constant 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative 12 watts per meter squared. So this, of course, just gives us an answer of 10 watts per meter squared. So that's the intensity of the sound. So now we'll want to use that to find the power. As I mentioned earlier, the power is equal to the intensity multiplied by the surface area. So we know the intensity, but we also need to establish the surface area. And the key thing to remember here is that since the sound is spreading out in a uniform circular geometry, we'll have to use the formula for the surface area of a sphere. So the formula for the surface area of a sphere is 4 pi times the square of the radius, the radius of the sphere. And since the problem mentions that the speaker is 2.5 meters away from the speaker itself, then 2.5 meters is our radius. Multiply by our intensity of watts per squared meter. Put that into a calculator, and we find a power of about 790 watts. And so that is our answer to part A. Now let's look at part B. Now part B gives us a different sound level, 85 decibels, and asks how far the speaker would have to be for it to give this sound level. Now we're really just going to use the same kind of process, except the equations will be used slightly differently. But we'll start off the same way, by finding the intensity that this sound level has to correspond to. So 85 decibels is once again equal to 8 times the log base 10 of i over i naught, and we'll use the exact same process we used in part A to solve for i. We'll have to do the thing where we uh, d divide both sides of the equation by 10, raise 10 to the power of both sides of the equation, and then we find that the intensity is equal to 10 to the power of 8.5 multiplied by i naught. So we'll now just put this into a calculator. 10 times 10 to the power of 8.5 times 10 to the power of negative 12 watts per meter squared is equal to 3.162 times 10 to the power of negative 4 watts per meter squared. So now we'll use the power formula we used in part A, except we're going to use it in reverse to solve for r instead of uh, power. 4 pi r squared times the intensity. And solving this for r is equal to the square root of power divided by 4 pi i. So the power, and I'm just going to use the unrounded value that my calculator gave me for part A, which was 785.4 watts, all divided by 4 pi times the intensity of 3.162 
times 10 to the power of negative 4 watts per meter squared. All right, so if we put this into a calculator, then we find a distance of about 444.6 meters, or rounding this a bit, 440 meters. That is the answer to part B, and that is the final part to the answer to this problem. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe or tell all your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.